Bonne la cal, mes amours. It's time we talk about Morning Joe, Joe Scarborough, and the government shutdown. Now, this morning, Joe Scarborough got onto the airwaves in order to spin this current government shutdown as well as he could against Donald Trump specifically, and a little less so Republicans generally. And admittedly, the Republicans certainly aren't showing any sort of unity or strength in this matter, with Lindsey Graham coming out and attempting to blame, of all things, a White House staffer for blocking the government shutdown from being resolved. A matter that is completely false, because one, White House staffers don't have any voting strength. The most they can do is bring up issues with the president and talk to him about matters that they deem important if given the time. Uh, the uh, White House policy advisor in question is Stephen Miller, who's come under fire multiple times in the past for being friends with Richard Spencer, as well as, uh, well, generally being hated by the Jewish communities from which he comes from because he doesn't tote the party line in so many words. But no one's actually saying what Stephen Miller said to the president. And as far as I can tell, Lindsey Graham is trying to throw the president and Stephen Miller under the bus for his own ability to manage his majority leadership over the Republicans in the Senate. The Republicans in the Senate do not want immigration on this spending bill, because immigration and the spending bill have nothing to do with each other. People want to bring up the, uh, the Children's Health Insurance Program, CHIP, as it's colloquially called, as a big issue that needs to be funded. However, they also lie about it rather openly, as Joe Scarborough did, describing it as supporting 9 million of the poorest children in the country, which isn't the case. CHIP does not support people so poor that they're ineligible for Medicare and Medicaid for children. Or excuse me, Medicare and Medicaid for the parents of children, as such insurance would be allowed to be used by those children if the parents have it. No, CHIP is a program specifically for those who make more money than, would, uh, than is permitted on the Medicaid and Medicare programs, but still need insurance for their children. And Joe Scarborough took this information, took the conflict between uh, uh, Lindsey Graham and Stephen Miller, took the failed negotiations, the nearly successful negotiations, mind you, between Chuck Schumer and uh, Donald Trump and spun them up in this narrative of the president having pre-dementia, the president being a bumpkin and an idiot, repeatedly slamming the president as much as he could to make him look like an idiot. And the fact of the matter is, the problem lies with the number of votes required. If Democrats aren't able to compromise on just how many things they're requesting now, Children's Health Care Insurance Program, uh, the Dreamers Act, the uh, immigration policies, they are asking for far too much. We're going to lose votes on this bill from Republicans as the president begins to try and compromise. And we're looking at a very complex set of political functions being th uh, being worked with because you've got you've got a hundred people in the Senate right of which 50 are Republicans two are independents and the rest are Democrats only four Democrats were working to pass or agreeing to pass the bill as of this weekend and at this point what we're seeing is despite what people want to say is a noontime attempt to vote and get this government re-enabled, reopened, as it were, we're going to be seeing a long, drawn-out government fight between the very partisan sides 
And despite the fact that everyone wants to make the issue about immigration, immigration isn't the problem. Immigration is a problem that the Democratic side wishes to continue bringing up because it's a very hard sticking point for the president. Donald Trump isn't a complete fucking asshole. He understands and has compassion for the fact that there are about 700,000 children in this country who were brought here by their parents and as such are not responsible for the fact that they are illegal immigrants or at one point were illegal immigrants. At the same time though, he's not looking to invest severe amounts of money into these illegal immigrants when that money can go towards improving the country itself. After all, as the president has repeatedly stated, he is looking for a very strong America first policy. So do I think that we're going to be able to reopen the government today at the noontime vote? I honestly don't think so. What we are going to end up seeing at this point is a lot of political bickering, a lot of throwing shade on other people and saying this is other people's fault, much like the Republican Senator Lindsey Graham did. And I could have sworn Lindsey Graham was a bit of a laughing stock for a long time. I don't know when he became suddenly a much more imp important person, especially more important in this matter than Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer, who, while the president did have a private meeting with the Democratic senator, didn't actually come to a complete agreement with the president. They came close, mind you. They reached compromises on many points, including, mind you, including the subject of putting off some of the immigration subject until after the government is reopened, because what is the point of discussing immigration when you can't even do anything for your own citizens? What we're seeing here is actually very troublesome, because I know a lot of people want to see this government shutdown solved right away. A lot of Republicans especially are arguing that we are going to be putting our troops in danger. We are going to be leaving our troops without pay. But the troops are paid up until the end of the month. Troops are paid on the first of the month, and as such, they've been paid up until Dece January 31st, excuse me. The biggest problem this poses is for the nearly 1 million government employees who are out of work this morning, who are not able to go into work because they've been furloughed. The problem this poses is for the Democrats especially, who can only behave exactly as the minority Republicans had to when Obama was in office, acting in any way and demanding anything they can to prevent votes from being from taking place. Despite Joe Scarborough trying to say that it's the Republicans, it's the Republicans blocking these votes, the Republicans are only blocking votes that serve to distract from the actual problem at hand. And the problem at hand is assuring we have a spending bill for the next year as well as the next three months. What we're seeing is a mess. And while the president goes around and attempts to work with his, excuse me, as many politicians as possible, working with Chuck Schumer, working with St uh, Lindsey Graham, working with uh, his staffers and other members of Congress, we have the mainstream media doing everything they can to throw as much shade as possible. Joe Scarborough couldn't stop saying the words pre-dementia, as if the president hadn't had a complete checkup, physical and mental, stating that he's in perfect cognitive health and only 15 pounds overweight. But of course, they can't actually talk about the matter that's truly of importance, and that would be passing this bill and moving on to addressing the FISA memo, which is completely damning for Democrats. The Democrats don't want to address any of the actual corruption in the government. They don't want to actually solve any of these problems. 
And I will say, there are a number of Republicans who don't want to solve any of these problems either. It's not a one-sided problem. It's not a one-sided issue. What we have here is money that is supposedly supposed to go, to go towards immigration, but I can tell you right now that money isn't going towards immigration. That money is going towards lining the pockets of people who have gotten fat off the immigration issue, off avoiding paying taxes by hiring illegal immigrants, which continues to happen and is only just now being addressed. Uh, both by the President and Immigration and Customs Enforcement. And until this issue is solved, we're just going to be seeing the money that the Democrats want thrown at the Dreamers Act and immigration go right out the window to God knows where. There's no paper trail for these things. This is remarkably underdocumented. Now, of course, you can read and view the videos uh, of Joe Scarborough and the story and the news articles that were written about this in the description box below. But I'd love to hear your opinions on the matter because I'm kind of tired of hearing one politician after another say, this is someone else's fault. This is someone else's fault. It's not my fault. Well, I I'm sorry. It's your responsibility, senators. You're the ones who decided that on a vote that requires 60 people to start bickering over minute things that have nothing to do with a spending bill in order to stop it. That's, uh, that's about all I've got for this one. I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.